Hello everyone, welcome back to another Adobe Photoshop CC 2019 tutorial. Guys, this one I'm going to show you how to very quickly do batch edits, batch edits with Photoshop Actions. Basically, we're going to take a whole bunch of pictures, in this case four, and I'm going to show you them, and then we're going to apply some actions to them so we can move through them and kind of get that, get the, get the same look get the same feel really really quickly as opposed to going through them one by one and copying and pasting which is very very painful so the very first step here is I like to do is I'm going to go to the window and I'm going to arrange them so that they are four up I've got four pictures and I want them each in their own little quadrant just like this all right we're rolling guys the next step is I'm going to go to file and then let's see here, file, edit, file, and where is it? Batch, 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 batch. Automate batch, there it is. It wasn't in batch, it's automate batch. File, automate batch, there we go. Yep. And uh, the next step here is you want to set this to default actions in this case. Uh, the action that we're going to do is we're going to apply a sepia toning layer, and it's one of the default actions, so you guys can just follow along with me. You will also see any of any actions that you've created of your own. They will show up here as well, but let's just go ahead with sepia toning. And then you want to make sure that the source is the open file. So it's these files that we've opened already that are getting the action applied to them. Sepia will be applied to them. Destination, I am just going to leave it at none, and I am now going to hit OK. When I do that, quick and lightning fast you will see that the sepia action has been applied to all of these images this is a very fast way to work with images and create a whole bunch of things that have the same look and the same feel just using actions and using one or two buttons guys i hope you enjoyed this tutorial i have a lot more stuff coming up please stay tuned i'll be back soon